Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing a full face and we're gonna start off with brows. I just got them done. I'm using my ABH brow powder in ebony and I'm gonna start by using the lighter shade in a duo and just drawing a line underneath my brows. And then I'll draw another line on the top of my brows after I finish brushing the product up. And I like to focus the top line towards the end of my brow that's just my preference and then I just go in and fill it in with the darker shade at the tail of my brow I never use a darker shade in the front of my brow and then I just brush the product out so it's not too harsh and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and we're going to use the lighter shade and of course brush the product up to avoid any harsh lines and then we're going to fill the end in with the darker shade just so it looks better and then we're going to use some concealer to clean it up and we're using a flat brush and I use a lighter shade on my brows. I'm pretty getting out of the habit of this. I can't let it go because I feel like I still have so much left but I think I want to go a shade darker for my concealer because I just it's just too light sometimes. And then I do the same thing at the top but I don't put it all the way in the front of my brow just so it's not that harsh because it can get harsh. Trust me. And then I'm going to use my hands just to blend that out so it's not too harsh as you can see. And then we're going to start off with primer. I'm using the NYX Face Base Primer. I really like this. And then I'm using the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in orange as a color corrector. I really don't have dark eyes but it's like a shadow from like the middle of my eye that peeks through my concealer and I hate it. So the only way to avoid that is color correcting and I'm not ashamed of it so I wanted to show you guys and then we're going to blend that out with the L'Oreal sponge. And then we're going to go in with some foundation. I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. Oh my gosh. I've seen this foundation a million times but I don't know why I never you know, picked it up and brought it until recently and I love it. It's full coverage. It's perfect. If you love full coverage, you'll love this. And I just start off by putting dots all over my face. And I try not to fast forward through these parts because it's going to be an in-depth foundation routine. And I like to take my L'Oreal sponge and buff all that foundation. I love this sponge, especially for foundation. It just makes it so fast and it covers such a big area. And it just blends out foundation so beautifully. And I just... This is just a favorite of mine. Like I really do love this foundation and sponge together. It's such a perfect combo. And with my foundation, I spend a lot of time blending it out because I want no harsh lines and I want full coverage. Then we're going to take concealer. We're using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've had this for a long time and I've just avoided using it. And I use it like within a recent times and I'm just like this foundation is amazing it's so full coverage and it does remind me of the NARS Radiant Concealer and I really do love it so then we're gonna buff that and I'm switched over to my Real Technique sponge I don't know I just like this one with concealer it's just I love all these beauty sponge they all have a different purpose for me so in this video, I just made sure that I use all my favorite stuff and what I would prefer when I'm doing my everyday foundation routine. Then I flip the sponge over, use a flat edge just to blend my foundation and concealer together. I'm looking good. Now I'm using this Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Sunlight. My friend put me on and this highlight is so beaming. It saves so much time and I just, I'm still all about highlights. So I love putting this on as a base. Then I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder that hasn't changed. And I just focus it more though on the sides of my nose and then like bring the rest out if that makes any sense, if you can see. And I'm just avoiding the part where I did put the highlighter, but of course still putting a lot towards the sides of my nose and blending the rest out and this just ensures my concealer doesn't crease at all and my face just sees matte because I do put it around like my nose then I'm using this face powder from MAC I switched these but this is the MAC Studio Fix and I also use the Make It Forever um, matte duo in 218 so it just depends on 
what day it is. I'm using a Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. I still love my cover girl, Ebony, I mean, yeah, Ebony Bronzer, but it's a, little, it's a little bit too orange and I prefer a more neutral for like winter and fall. And then I'm using my Sasha Buttercup just to cut underneath my bronzer so we can have just a sharp defined line. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And of course, after I do this, I'll let it sit for like a minute or two. Not too long because I hate the harsh line after you, you know, brush it away. So now I'm going to brush it away. We'll just make sure that line is not there and it's fully gone. Then, of course, taking my favorite blush, hot blush. Like, it wouldn't be it every day if I didn't use this blush. And I'm using my Luxie brush from my Ipsy bag. I love this brush for blush. Oh, my gosh. Then I'm taking Laura Geller highlighter and I'm putting that on my, on top of that Cover X highlighter. And this highlight is a beaming. It's a good combo. As well as the brush I'm using is from Sigma. It's their fan, strobing fan brush. I think it's F042, but I can be wrong. And then, of course, I'm going to apply some lower lash mascara. And I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I love this mascara for my lower lashes because I have none. And it just makes them look so much longer. And please excuse me me not really being in the camera it's just really hard for me to do lower lash mascara on camera then i'm taking my big shot mascara and putting that on the top of my lashes this is makeup shayla's product that she works with me really in for so you know how to buy it and i really do like it and it does work so yeah and i'm putting it on both sides and just really Putting a lot of clothes on so my lashes can appear bigger than what they are. Then I'm taking that same highlight I use on my cheeks, putting that in my inner corner just so they can appear bigger, as well as using this NYC liquid liner and drawing small little strokes on my lower lash just so they can give a fuller appearance and not so thin. Next, I'm using cork liner from MAC and I'm just outlining my lips. I don't overline my lips because my lips are pretty full. That blessed me with a good pair of lips and I really cannot complain. So I'm just outlining them and just defining my lips before I go in with my lipstick. And the lipstick that I'm taking is MAC Whirl and just putting that all over my lips as you apply lipstick. But I didn't want to fast forward through this either because this is my full face routine. And you can leave it with a matte, but I don't know. I've been in this glossy mood all of a sudden, so... There's more. I'm using my pretty thing. Love gloss from Marc Jacobs, which I love. And I'm coming to the end. I'm just so sad because this lip gloss is really expensive. I need to put it down or find a, you know, a dupe for every day. But I'm just applying that all over my lips. So there you have it, guys. That's my full face foundation routine. And it is complete. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I know it's kind of out of date. It looks the same kind of as my last updated foundation routine. However, it looks the same as like my last updated foundation routine. However, there's a bunch of different products that I did not use in that foundation routine as I do now. Now for my foundation routine on an everyday basis, I'm trying to use drugstore foundations because I want to save my higher end foundations for events and when I go out because they cost more money. <laughs> so for the most part if I'm just going out and I feel like I'm gonna put a face on, this is the face that I do. Super easy, super me. Highlight has to be on fleek of course but so that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope it was very easy to follow. Um not much has changed when people ask me about updated foundation routines, so just want to make sure I keep you guys up to date. I did do my brows on camera so people can see my brow routine also. Um, so I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye, guys.